Missing low again is GM Brown. Three balls, one strike. Two down and a runner on third. Big pitch here for GM Brown. And this one to one affair. GM Brown has the sign. Come set. The pitch. Chopper right side, but yanked foul. Count is full. Three balls, two strikes. Who knows what would happen to a ball if you got it up in the air with this wind. The wind and the rain beginning to fall yet again. Yep. Gonna make for a tricky ball to track if it does get in the air. The 3-2 pitch. High and outside for ball four. Second walk worked by Patron in this one. Now Had one in the eighth the as well. Seconds. Now runners at the corners. Two down for Sam Simpkins. Giolello with a quick word for Andrew Conderso. We'll see if he gives out a sign for the infield. Two away, runners at the corners. A force at first or second. You try to do a double steal, get the guy in second, caught in a rundown, send the guy home. See how tricky David Angebrandt wants to be here. Simpkins from the right side awaits the lefty's move. Here it comes. Grounder. Graziano has it. Shuffles the feet. Throws across. They got him. GM Brown works out of a jam. He strands a pair. We've played 10 almost here from Rich Deal of the Field as we're on to the bottom of the 10th in a 1 1 affair. It doesn't get much better than this. It's amazing. This game is unbelievable. Like I said earlier, these are games you expect in May. Right. Not in the rain and the wind in April. Right. They got five, six, seven for them. Nine, yeah. nine innings in the rain? Are you yep. kidding? And amazing. Yeah, unbelievable. Amazing. I don't know if they can continue much past this inning. No, nah, I, I, think, I think this is the last inning they're going to play. Back here at Steiner. Bottom of the 10th. 5-6-7. Due up for Brian Giolella's Steiner Spartans. Alex Wolak. Ramey Feniello and Dan Graziano, the three do up. As a new pitcher into the ball game, it's Sam Simpkins from shortstop to the bump. Elam takes over at short, and the Blue Devils continue to battle in this tie game. Now playing shortstop, number 11, Colum Elam. Now pitching number Bottom 13, of the fourth inning. Sam Simpkins. Steiner got their run to make it a 1 0 game, and Ewing responded in the top of the fifth. By getting a run home, after Keith Lesko singled to start the inning, he came around to score on an error. Just a great high school baseball game, Mike. Leading off for the Spartans, number 14, first baseman Alex A Bullock. great high school baseball game indeed. I'm sorry, a game and a half. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> home half of the 10th, first pitch to Wolak, fastball at the belt, called strike one. Sam Simpkins. From shortstop to the bump, into the windup, in the pitch. Off speed thrown oh. behind, a common theme as the precipitation is picked up. Steiner dug out, is making some noise and enjoying that one. 
Alex Wolak patiently waiting. The 1-1. Ripped, and that's a fair ball down the left field line and could be extra bases. Wolak being waved around first on his way to second. Here comes the throw, and he's going to retreat back to first. Smart call by the base coaches for Steiner to keep Wolak at first. Well, it's a leadoff single for the Spartans, and this is Ramey Feniello. That ball was hit pretty hard. Number 22, left fielder Ramey Feniello. Feniello 0 for 3 on the afternoon. A chance to do something big here with Wolak on first. And it looks like for the time being, Wolak's going to stay on first. <laughs> we've had this situation in about half the innings we've played. So That's far. right. Guy on first base, less than two outs. Feniello showing bunt. First pitch, pulls back, takes outside, 1-0. Minonia crashing hard on the square up opportunity there from Feniello. Yeah, maybe a little too hard, Mike. Yeah. And a little pop over his head and you look at the guy on third. Feniello pulls back. Two balls and no strikes. Giolella calls Feniello down to have a couple words with him. Two balls and no strikes. So make sure it's a pitch you can butt. Two zero off the plate. Yep. Three balls and no strikes. Fediello in the driver's seat. The rain continues to pick up. The field continues to do all it can to handle it. Minonia pinching in, showing bunt. Still is Fediello the pitch. Taken high, it's a four-pitch walk. Runners at first and second for the Spartans. Dan Graziano. This might be the best scoring situation we've had in four or five innings. <laughs> Runners on first and second, nobody out for Steiner. And Graziano, after watching a four-pitch walk, you gotta think maybe some of the words Giovella sharing with him to be patient up there, maybe Square around and show bunt. Move two into scoring position with a sacrifice. But we'll see exactly what they elect to well, do. And They're in the same situation now. You want another sacrifice. You want to lay down a bunt. Jace Marr coming into the game to courtesy run for Wolak on second base, who got the inning going with a frozen rope down the third baseline and into left field. Jace Marr. He got hurt. This has turned into football weather. That it has. A hop, skip, and a jump away from the new turf surface here at yeah. Steinert High School. If they did want to maybe fire up some Oklahomas after this one's done, you can head on over to the gridiron and do such. Meeting is concluded out there on the bump. Andrew Brandt, Simpkins and company exchanging the strategy for what they want to do here, runners on first and second. Feniello on first, and now Marr on second, taking over for Wolak, who led the inning off with the single. Graziano, a chance to be the hero for Steinert. He'll show bunt, and he offers and pops it up back behind home plate. Yeah, I think that, you know, it's got to be the strategy. Lay down a bunt here, get second and third. No balls, one strike to Graziano. Simpkins set at the belt. He shows Bunn again, and he gets a piece of that one as Simpkins threw it right up and in at that barrel. And now it's a no ball, two strike count to Graziano. Yeah. Gotta make sure it's a pitch he wants to bunt. <laughs> An 0-2 count. If I'm Simpkins, I'm throwing this one just high. He seems to be wanting to bunt it, so see if he can get him to pop it up. Jack Ivins is on deck. Graziano gets a bunt down with two strikes, and it's a beauty. Everyone's safe, and the ball gets by, and Steinert's going to win the game. 
Dan Graziano, the hero, the Steinert Spartans walk it off and win two to one. What a game. Unbelievable. Boy, they got a reason to be happy, I'll tell you that much. That was a wild game. A wild game indeed. Rain, wind, all of the elements that Mother Nature could possibly throw at both of these teams today. And this time it's the Spartans who escape victorious in slim fashion. Two to one, the final score. The Italian People's Bakery player of the game interview is next here from Steinert High School. Back here at Steinert High School from Rich Giolella Field, joining us now, our Italian People's Bakery player of the game, Daniel Graziano, coming through with a huge two-strike bunt. And Dan, congratulations first and foremost. You guys pick up a big win after a tough loss against Robbinsville. First things first, what was exchanged words-wise between you and head coach Brian Giolella after you go down 0-2? Two bunt attempts, they don't go the way you want. You go down 0-2, what's he say to you down there? Well, he walks up to me and he says, do you want to swing? Or do you want to try to get a bunt? And I told him, I, I believe I can get it down. Let me bunt. And you did just that, man. You, you, you got down a beauty, a textbook bunt down the third baseline, right in that Bermuda Triangle area where things get a little dicey. Mm -hmm. If it's the catcher's ball, if it's the pitcher's ball, yep. you see Simpkins. Well, you probably didn't see Simpkins because you're just focused on running, getting the first. But you see the ball fly over the head. What's going through your mind? What you're touching up first base there? I don't know, looking to see if they're scoring, trying to get the second. Once I saw him round him second, I knew that he was going to score and the game was finally over. Is that your first walk-off? Of this year, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> how's that feel? It feels great to finally get a win. That's awesome. You guys got a big win indeed. A team that you lost to a season ago back in May. Uh, what's this win mean for you guys and the guys that were here a season ago for that to get this one and get back in the win column? It means a huge amount. I mean, after, after the last game, we had to get back on a roll, to get back to playing baseball the way we know how to. This is a great uh, momentum booster here because we have another two-game stretch against two hard opponents. Absolutely. You guys will take on Notre Dame tomorrow against the Irish. What do you think you can expect in that one? Expect a lot of good pitching, good hitting. Very good team, but so are we. One of the best, good matchup. One of the best rivalries in Mercer County, and we yep. can't wait to cover it tomorrow. Dan, for the time being, enjoy tonight. Enjoy today's game. A hard-fought battle that went 10 innings long. You guys come out on the victorious side. You're our Italian People's Bakery player of the game. Here's a gift certificate for you, my friend. Thanks. Take that to the Italian People's Bakery. Get yourself a free sandwich at 63. 
Factory, Butler Street in Chambersburg. Thanks so much for taking the time, and best of luck the rest no of the way, man. Thank you. Dan Graziano, our Italian People's Bakery player of the game. What a bunt put down by the young man as he was able to win it for Steiner this afternoon. We'll take a quick break, tally up the numbers, and thank our sponsors on the other side of this timeout. The final, Steiner 2 and Ewing 1 here from Rich Giolella Field. The final score from Rich Giolella Field, 2-1 to one, as the Spartans walk it off. The clutch, two-strike, two-out bunt from Dan Graziano as he was able to get that one down, a really two-strike, no-out bunt, but felt like there were two outs here in the bottom of the 10th inning as the tension continued to grow. A great victory for Steinert as everything thrown their way, rain, wind, you name it, they dealt with it in this one, and a big victory this afternoon for Brian Giolella and the Steinert Spartans. I want to thank everybody who tuned in to today's broadcast. Today's broadcast was brought to you in part by the Capital Health System, the Mercer County Prosecutor's Office, Haldeman Ford Subaru, Kessel Dermatology, Revere Restaurant, the New Jersey Education Association, the Hamilton Township Education Association, the Trentonian, the Hamilton Township Animal Shelter, the Trenton Thunder, the Italian People's Bakery, the Hamilton Township Division of Health, Hyundai of Trenton, and Mako of Ewing, all proud to bring you today's game here on WBCB. For the crew, Colin Sommer produced today's stream. Justin Plaza did our camera work today. Joe O'Gorman, the esteemed journalist from Mercer County, our color commentator. One final time from Rich Giolella Field, my name is Mike Warren. The final score, Steiner 2, Ewing 1, as the Spartans improved to 3-2 and two on the season. Until we talk to you again tomorrow afternoon, for Notre Dame and Steiner, we thank you so much for tuning in to High School Baseball on WBCB. Have a great night, everybody.